What's up everybody? Welcome to my review of the M Retriever. You can go to mretriever.com to check this thing out, pick one up for yourself. Big thank you to them for sending me this thing to test and review. I have used it a decent amount. Luckily, haven't had to use it too much because every time you break this out, it's because your disc went someplace you didn't want it to go. But we've definitely used it enough to speak on the way it performs. I have a little bit of footage to um, kind of insert here with me and James fishing some discs out of the creek to see how, how that works as well. And um, overall, I think it's a really solid product that I'm quite happy with. So let's take a quick look at it. It's got a pretty sturdy handle here. It doesn't seem like it would really break down much at all over time. It's got a good grip to it. Um, it's nice and snug on the base of the of the pole there. It doesn't slip or slide at all. Has this um, lanyard on the back here that you can use to hold on to it, although not super necessary. Um, I guess this is more to like hang it because I, I can't fit my wrist through there. So like you could do that, loop it through your fingers and stuff if you want to make sure you don't drop the uh, retriever. That could be helpful, I guess. Here it says mretriever.com, and you can uh, personalize it here on this label if you want to like write your name and number in case you lose it or something like that. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea for me to do that. So here's the actual retrieval um, head on this thing. It adjusts as you can kind of swing it around. Um, here are like, there's like little barbs in there. So the way this works is if you have it kind of angled slightly down, you scoop it underneath the disc as it sits there, and once it gets into there, it kind of locks in pretty good. You can see how those barbs kind of line up onto the inside rim of the disc. And once it's in here, it's pretty sturdy. Um, once you kind of scoop it into the cradle and it kind of locks into place here, it's quite easy to pull it out. You know, once you get it in into this position right here, you're pretty much good to go. You're definitely at least going to get it close enough that you can um, retrieve it again if it happens to fall out halfway down or something like that. You'll definitely get it to move from its original location once it locks in here. And from our experience, once you get it to this position, all you have to do is just reel the thing in. And um, I don't even collapse it as I go. I'll just pull the entire thing um, backwards through my hands, reel in your disc, and you're good to go. We've used it in the pond at Rooster Rock. No problem, that was the first time I think I had to actually break it out. Andy was able to fish out his disc with no issue. Um, that was great. We also, I used it at Dabney, not necessarily from a place that I couldn't get to, but it was just much more simple for me to just reach down and pull it out of the creek rather than try to like climb down the creek bed and any of that kind of stuff where if it's just down somewhere where you don't want to climb down there, even if it's not in the water or anything like that, if it's out of bounds or if it's an extra shot or it's a casual round, you're like, I'm not climbing down there to get it. This thing works really well just to, to kind of fish it out from anywhere that you can't reach. So we also, um, you'll see some footage here of me and, of me and James out at um, Timber fishing it out of the, the creek. I had to break it out on the same exact hole um, at Timber a couple of days ago over the weekend to help my buddy fish his disc out of the water. And um, it works great. Really, I have almost no issues with it whatsoever based on my uh, testing so far. Like I said, I haven't used it a ton, but I've used it enough to determine that I feel like it's a really solid product that works well. It doesn't take up much space um, on my cart. It works out quite well. I can actually just kind of slide it onto the back of my Zuka cart and tuck it behind my bag there. It's completely out of the way, and there's no problems whatsoever in terms of, uh, you know, having it with you. Um, if I were to be headed out on a round and didn't have my cart, that's where it gets a little bit more interesting, because it's a little heavy. That's really the only downside of it, is that it's got some, some heft to it, so I don't necessarily feel like I would want to have this in my golf bag all the time, just based on how heavy it is. That being said, if you go play a lot of uh, courses that have a lot of water, if you play a course that has a lot of creeks running through it or anything along those lines, it could be well worth the um, the uh, weight you're going to carry, honestly. It depends on, on your perspective. Certain courses that I may go to, I will make sure I have it. Um, even if I'm going to carry my bag, I might want to bring it. Or you could always leave it in the car, and if you get a disc lost, you can always walk back to the car and get it. It's not ideal. But you could totally do that if you like have a really small bag or something. Could be a, set, a nice thing just to have laying around in the car in case you get into some trouble. You can go grab it and um, hopefully fish your disc out before somebody else does. But all in all, that's the really only downside I can think of um, in terms of the way this thing works. 
um, is that it's just a little heavy. You know, it's a it's a metal product. It's sturdy and it's nice and it extends super far. Um, uh, the video probably won't really give you the perspective of how far this thing really extends out. Um, I showed you guys in my initial video, I extended it out my window so you can see how far it reached out. That also doesn't really give you the perspective. It, it really, like, when you extend it fully and you're holding it, it almost, it's almost kind of funny. Uh, because it extends out so far, but um, it really works well. It's far, far better than trying to find a stick or anything like that. So if you bought one of these for yourself and you saved a couple of discs, it could be one disc. It could be that one disc that you really love. It could make it all worth it, you know? Um, and if you're playing somewhere that has a lot of creeks and ponds and stuff, you could be fishing out discs all the time and um, definitely make it easily worth the money um, to, have, to have bought this thing and added it to your uh, bag or your cart. I'm going to show you guys a quick um, look at how it looks on the back of my cart. And I also want to show you something else interesting that I have found out about this thing. So, here's my Zuka, and all I've really been doing is I just kind of put it right behind my bag here and tuck it down into the cart like that. And it's basically completely out of the way. A couple of times it got a little bit snagged on some branches or something like that, but um, it's pretty much fine. And you can, you can unscrew and take the head off of it if you wanted to and um, stash that like underneath or something like that if you feel like it's in the way. But it doesn't bother me at all having it there. And I've noticed that I can extend it straight out like this and just pull it straight up and I can actually attach my phone to it and use it like a um, like a monopod or like a phone mount to film myself. Let me show you how that works. So I've noticed that I can actually just put my phone right on this um, little shelf here and then I made a little loop of paracord to kind of cinch it on there and then as it sits on my cart I can kind of just pull it straight up and it'll extend upwards and I can put my phone on there and I can film myself um, throwing shots out there on the course. Nice little handy extra thing that I notice this thing can do and um, I've used it for that um, a decent amount so far since I figured that out. So all in all, I really like the M Retriever. I definitely recommend checking it out if you um, find yourself constantly trying to fish discs out of ponds with a stick or you find yourself going swimming or any of those things. I think it's a, a really nice investment for that. And all in all, I think it does a, a great job. I find that uh, it takes a couple of seconds to get the disc scooped into the cradle depending on how far away it is and how coordinated you are and stuff. It's obviously easier when you don't have to extend it out quite as far. Um, but once you get it pulled into that little cradle there, you're good to go. And uh, definitely seems to be solid. I will report back if any issues come up with this thing, but it also does have a warranty. And I've heard from multiple folks that even if they had problems with like, I've heard a couple people say that this, this piece comes stripped, uh, eventually it might happen. A, you could just go to Home Depot and I'm sure fix this with another type of like thumb screw or something like that. Or um, you can just send it back and they will they will fix it for you from what I understand. So that is my review on the M Retriever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check you all very soon. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching and big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to see your name listed in the credits of all of my videos, go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd.